January continued to see lots of market volatility, although equity markets were lower, whilst bond markets finished a little bit higher for the month. It was interesting from an economic growth perspective, economic growth continued to be modestly positive, although investors did continue to worry about China. The US saw fourth quarter GDP come a little bit lower at 0.7%, and we're starting to see the effect of a high US dollar impact their growth. More broadly though, the US Federal Reserve remains fairly positive on economic growth moving forward. We would expect to see one, maybe two rate rises through the year. Japan certainly saw some activity as well with their central bank start to cut rates again and move to a slightly negative interest rate. This is important and obviously they're trying to use very significant stimulus to drive some economic growth and also some inflation. So Chinese economic growth did moderate and continues to compared to recent years. We do think though that the Chinese economy is moving in the transition that the government's looking for, to move from very much investment-led to consumer-led growth. So investing in volatile times certainly requires a focus on diversification, not only across asset classes but also securities. We very much focus on capital preservation but also look to marry that with an opportunity set so that if we do see opportunities in the marketplace, we'll look to take them.